You might have to help me land this thing, Lou. Don't go in the weeds. Hey, what's up guys? Jersey Joel Fishing here. The date is May 18th, 2021. Hope everybody has a great day today. This is part three of my targeting northern pike species. I had a great last few days of fishing. I went to a couple of spots that have them that the state stocks, Bud Lake and this new lake, Cranberry Lake. I caught a state certified trophy fish chain pickerel, almost 25 inches over at Bud Lake. And then over here at Cranberry Lake, I caught a uh, certified trophy rock bass, biggest rock bass, my personal best, that was 10 inches. It's part of the sunfish family. So I got a certification coming from the state fish and wildlife for the chain pickerel and the rock bass. It's called the New Jersey Skillful Angler Program. If you catch certain species over a certain length, they're considered trophy fish for that species. I did two of them targeting pike, and then I actually missed a couple of pike over here at Cranberry Lake, and that's where I'm at this morning. I missed two. One on the live shiner and one on a spinner in the weeds. They're hanging out in the weeds just like pickerel. They like to ambush. And uh, hopefully I can get my first pike in about six years this morning. My buddy and fellow YouTuber Jason Beck Fishing is here. I'm going to meet up with him. He's doing some bass fishing. Some of the bass are on the beds. And hopefully today's the day that I finally catch my northern pike. So let me uh, get set up and head down to the water and meet Jason. And I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Early morning, 6.30 a.m., back here at Cranberry Lake. Another attempt to catch a pike. I've been catching everything but bass, perch, rock bass, black crappie, you name it, I've caught it. Just not a pike yet. My buddy Jason Beck Fishing is here. He's off today. A lot of big female bass are on the beds. He's trying to catch one of those. Beautiful morning. Going to be another hot one. Going to be hot today. 82 degrees, weather is getting warmer and warmer as we get closer to summer. Anything yet? Uh, oh, you caught a smallie? Yeah. Nice. What are you throwing now? A popper. Oh, they're hitting top water? Down there they were. Down this way I haven't gotten any bites. Did you see the beds down there? I can't, the water, I can't see in the water yet. The okay. sun's not high enough. Yeah. To yeah, there's the one big one right below the dam. And right before that house there with the big deck, the white house, yeah. right before it, there's like three beds with some big ones right there in between the structure. There's some uh, trees and stuff in there. I'll have to take a walk down there. Right? We'll walk down. We can take a few casts with the spinner over here. I had three blow ups on the popper, but I missed all three of them. Oh, wow. I think they're pickerel, like small ones. Yeah, could be a small pike too. They stock a lot of pike in here. Yeah. You never know. I might throw top water on too. Maybe the torpedo or something. Let me take a few casts over here. There's a lot more structure and weeds down at this end than the other end. Oh, Jason's been here for like 40 minutes. He caught a bluegill and a smallmouth. He's throwing top water. I might throw top water too. Pike will hit top water. Let me try over here first. Let me throw my MEP spinner around. The sun's not up yet, so spinner will be good. They could see it. Maybe I'll throw a top water too, like Jason's throwing. Okay, let's throw the MEPS. MEPS Aglia number three. We'll see what happens. Here we go, guys. First cast.
1 minute 37 seconds later. Got one. Got one, guys. Only took 15 minutes. What is this? Get him in here. Mission accomplished. It is a northern pike. Only took 15 minutes. Not a big one, but I'll take it. First pike in about seven years. Look at these colors, guys. Look at these colors. Mission accomplished. Northern pike on the number three MEP spinner. Right through the weeds here, about 15 yards out. Slammed it. Beautiful fish, same family as a pickerel, same family as a muskie. Yes, it took me a few attempts, but I did it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Look at that. Look at the color patterns on this. Look at this. Got it right out. Gold Meps number three with the red polka dots. That's been my lucky lure the last week. Beautiful northern pike here, guys. Not a big one. They get much, much bigger, but I'll take it. Let me get an underwater release. Real beautiful fish. He is frisky. Real beautiful fish. This is awesome. My target species. Underwater release time. One last view of this beautiful northern pike. Love the colors on these fish. All right, buddy. Thanks for hitting the maps. I'll see you later. was awesome guys literally only took me about 15 minutes on the MEPS number three spinner beautiful northern pike not a big one they get huge but I'll take it like I said many times before in this area of North Jersey only a few bodies of water have them they're hard to find especially from the bank I'm glad I got it put up a good fight for a little pike beautiful colors now I can cross that off my bucket list of having a YouTube video of a pike. I've caught them before. I just don't have any videos of them. Last time I caught pike was before I had my YouTube channel. So definitely wanted to get a video of catching one. It's been challenging, but it's been fun. All right. Took 15 minutes. Finally got my northern pike. Mission accomplished. Let's see if we can get an even bigger one. Here we go. He was small, but he fought good. Pike fight very hard. A few minutes later. Another one. What is it? We gotta jump. It's a pit girl. See that jump? Thought it was a pike. Pit girl. Same family. Now all I need is a muskie and I'll get the trifecta. But they don't have muskie here. Thought it was another pike. That was a good jump. He's little too. Look at those teeth. All right, it's two fish. Within 20 minutes, northern pike and a chain pickerel. I caught the two cousins. All right, Mr. Chain Pickerel. Thanks for hitting the MEPS. 
Look at those teeth. I'll see you later. Yep, there he goes. Back out towards the middle. See you, buddy. All right. This is awesome. Two fish within 20 minutes. Northern pike and a chain pickerel. Let's keep fishing. See if we can get fish number three. I got one, I got a pike. Yeah, right here on the maps. Little one, beautiful colors. And then I got a pickerel like 10 minutes later and I lost a smallie or something here on the torpedo. He slammed it, he missed it three times. Right here to the right of the dock. You should throw that Senko over there. He hit three times, but he missed it. Heck yeah, Those good job. Colors, man. Yeah. That's why I love pike. Look, same thing as a pickerel, but the colors are just unbelievable. Yeah. So I had three bites right right between here and like right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Right out in front, like 20 yards out. He slammed it right in the weeds. And then I caught a pickerel. He jumped. I thought it was another pike. Yeah. And then a smallie or something right over here, like where you cast it on the other side of the stock. He hit three times, but he missed it. Got him? Yeah. All right. Got this on video. I told you there was one over there. Let's see what it is. It's jumping. J Jason's using a Senko. It's a bass. Largy? Fighting good, nice fish. Nice. Man, he slammed that, huh? Yeah. Ow. Let me get a picture. All right, brother. We're having a good morning. Yeah. There he goes. Seven hours later. All right, guys, I am back. It's like six hours later, seven hours later. It's about 5.30 p.m. I want to see how the sunset bite is here at Cranberry Lake. Had a good morning. All right, guys, let's see what happens. One minute, 37 seconds later. Got a bite, first cast. Got one, first cast, what is it? It's a black crappie, big one. First cast on the live shiner. Thought it was a pike, man, that thing hit ferocious. Fishy. Look at that. Hi, Fitzy. I can't wait to hit the shiner. Look at these colors on him. He's got like the spawning colors. Look at how black those spots are. First cast on the live shiner. Black crappie. The shiner is still alive. Let me cast it back out there. Put him in the water. Another species here at Cranberry Lake. Really good sized black crappie, guys. First cast on the live shiner. About 15 yards out here from the bank in the weeds. Man, he slammed it. He hit it so ferocious, I thought it was a pike. All right, Mr. Big Black Crappie. Thanks for hitting the live shiner. Real beautiful fish. Look at those colors. See you later, buddy. There he goes. See you, bud. All right, that literally took not even two minutes. First cast on the live shiner, beautiful black crappie. Really like this lake, very clean water, a lot of species. Really, I'm glad that I tried this lake. Got one, pulling a little drag, fighting good, what is it? Yellow perch. Nice yellow perch. Perfect hook set right through the top of the nostril. See? Isn't that nice?
Got a fish on here. Fish number five, what is it? It's a catfish. First catfish of the year, guys. Bullhead. What is that, seven fish in about 45 minutes. Four different species. Yellow perch, rock bass, three pumpkin seeds, and a brown bullhead catfish. First catfish of the year. He's small. Don't touch him, he'll sting you. I gotta get the glove for this. You see how strong these barbs are, guys? Look, that'll get you. That'll make you bleed. All right, first catfish of the year. Just a little brown bullhead. Caught so many species here at this lake today. Show you guys the release. Sun's going down. All right, buddy. Thanks for hitting the night crawler. I'll see you later. There he goes. See you, catfish. All right, let's keep fishing. Two days later. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? You ready to get a pike? You yeah. want to try down here for a little bit? Then we'll come over here to the dam? Yeah. I know exactly where the pike are. I know right. every single inch down there. Let me just uh, put this back. I got live shiners. I got a dozen. Oh, yeah. You can use one if you want. There, I'm gonna throw a big one out there. They got the big I, ones. I actually have a blue, a live bluegill that I caught. Oh, did you? Yeah. Nice. That's a lively one. Nice and lively. Let's see if they get a nice pike on this live shiner here, right along the weed line. Here we go. First cast. Five minutes later. Got him, whatever it is. Good fight. Good fight. It's a pickerel, not a pike. I don't care, I'll take it. Nice one. Told you. Lou, they hang out in the weeds. Yeah, they do. Little What's gator. Up, Don't you dare bite me. <laughs> you want to fire? You got them on you? He's pissed off. Yeah, he sure is. There we go. Nice. Nice pickerel. He's not a giant, but he's not a dink. No wonder what a release today. Still a little bit. Cloudy. See you, buddy. 20 minutes later. I got one. Lou, nice one. Pulling drag, Lou. Lou, nice one. We gotta measure this. That was good. You got that thing, that measurement? Yep. I thought it was a pike, dude. He hit it a foot from the shore. He chased it in. Another big pickerel, guys. Gator. Get your pliers first. I got you. Give me a heart attack. I thought it was a pike. He hit right a foot from shore against the weed line. He came out and slammed it on the side. Looks like he's... He hit it from the side. It's right under the top. Man, he really slammed that map. There, there we go. go. Now let's get a measurement. You see the tail? Look at the red, like a pike. Yeah. See that? Yeah. About 21. He's 21. 21? Yeah. One, two, three. Gotcha. Second pickerel of the morning here. Lou just lost a big one on the live bluegill. Now they're biting. 21 inches. 
Another big pickerel. I've caught a lot of big pickerel in the last month. Look at that gator head. Really nice pickerel. 21 inches. Fought like crazy. He hit like a foot from the bank off of these rocks on the MEPS number three spinner. All right, buddy. He's ready to go. He's feisty. There he goes. See you, buddy. Huge pickerel. 21 inches. All right. The action's starting to heat up the last half hour. Lou just lost a nice one on the live bluegill. I just caught that big pickerel on the MEPS. It's been near 90 degrees the last three days, so really turn the fish bite on. Let's keep fishing. Having a lot of fun here. Five minutes later. Another one, guys. Five minutes later. Lou, look at this. You might have to help me land this thing, Lou. Don't go in the weeds. What is it? Oh. Pike? Yep. Pike. Yeah. Huge pike. Grab my pole. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't break it. 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 Hold it right there. Hold it right there. No, oh, no, no. No, no. No, no, don't break the line. Wait, 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 wait. Got him. Lou, help me. Got him. Got him. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> Lou, look at this, brother. Look at this pike. Hell yeah. Yeah, brother. Damn. On the mess. How long, you think? Not, it was all 28. How, many, how long does it have to be? 32. 32. Doesn't matter. We're getting pictures of this. Oh, yes. Nice, Mets. brother. Let's, let's get the flyer. Big Pike. Very nice. Thank you. Map spinner. That thing fought like a giant. All right, let's All right. put that Hello? aside. Get your little measurement thing set up. At first. Five minutes after I caught that 21 inch chain pickerel. Nice. They're starting to bite like crazy now. Yeah. Got it. Ready? All right. All right, guys. How, how uh, long was it, Lou? Tw 27? 26 20, and a half? 26 and a half. 26 and a half Northern Pike here, guys. Personal best. Lou's going to film the release. Beautiful Northern Pike. Meps number three. Look at the colors, Lou. Look at the tiger stripes. Let's wait till he's ready. Almost 27 inch northern pike here, guys. Personal best. Let's do an underwater release. Pull it back a little. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video. It's been an unbelievable journey and mission to try and catch a northern pike. I tried last year in early spring, it was just too cold. And I tried again for the last two weeks, tried a couple different spots that the state stocks with pike. 
And finally, persistence paid off. Mission completed. I caught two northern pike, a beautiful young one with really, really nice colors. And then I just caught this morning over here at Cranberry Lake with my buddy fishing with Lou. I caught a 20, almost 27 inch northern pike on the MEP spinner. And he hit like 10 yards from the bank. He was hiding in the weeds. What an insane fight. Lou had to help me land it. Unbelievable. I caught a giant 21 inch pickerel five minutes before that. It's been a wild ride the last couple of weeks, bouncing around, trying to catch my first northern pike in about seven, eight years. And I caught two of them. And I caught a lot of other species. And I caught a couple of trophy fish last week for the New Jersey Skillful Angler Program. I caught a 25 inch chain pickerel. And I caught an almost 10 inch rock bass. So I got two state certifications coming in the mail for that. It's been a wild two weeks of fishing, trying to find and catch a northern pike. I caught two of them. An amazing journey. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video and enjoyed this series. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.